Brooklyn, New York City. Right around Biggie's 45th birthday, this mural was in danger of being removed. Now what happened was the property value in the area began to increase. So the landlord wanted to capitalize on the opportunity to increase the rents in his building. This called for some renovation and upgrades. The creators of the mural and the landlord went back and forth about it until they reached an impasse, which provoked Spread Art NYC to circulate a petition when it hit social media and the public caught a wind of it. Uh, that was the end of it. <laughs> Suddenly, the landlord had a change of heart and, uh, and decided that he wouldn't make those upgrades to the building and he would just leave it as is. I imagine there was some behind the scenes negotiating going on, but either way, either way, the landlord obviously didn't realize how important the artwork was to the to the area and beyond you know he didn't understand exactly what the artwork symbolizes well if he didn't know now he knows down Fulton it's actually a pretty area tree-lined streets oh wow I just passed something I'm gonna show you guys in a minute it's pretty damn cool um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Okay, this spot looks familiar, it's for a reason. His first pop chart solo success, right here, came in a form of juice. This is the stoop where he stood on for the opening verse, and then again, seen throughout.
still have a couple of more spots to hit up. production in the making here. mother raised her only child at 226 St. James Place, which is what you see right here. Now this location is right across the street from his childhood home. Some of his earliest performances happen right here, inside these walls. 